What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at the player of the weeks this week. Uh, the player of the week worldwide September 1st. We've got Haaland, Odegaard, Pedri, Luis Alberto, Firmino, Frimpong, Furuhashi, Dalo, Rasmussen, Kaza and the goalkeeper Paolo Vitor. So yeah, there is a couple of good players in here. And I think that you will probably obviously be drawn to Haaland, maybe Pedri, uh, Frimpong is one of the guys, and Odegaard, I think them two are, are probably second tier. So I'd say top tier are Haaland and Pedri, and then Odegaard, Frimpong, and uh, Luis Alberto under that. But Diego Dallo is a nice player as well. Uh, I also like the look of Furuhashi, which we'll get into in a minute. But we are going to go through this fairly quick, because none of these players can be trained up, as you know, with the player of the weeks. If you are new to the game, the player of the weeks always have top rating. You'll see their A rating. And they usually... You know, they're maxed out in terms of this is a version of the card that is maxed out. You can't train it. You don't need any progression points. You can't really alter this card in any way. It is what it is when you get the card. So they're kind of a quick way for you to have a finalized version of the card without having to spend a lot of time or XP or energy boosting up the card. And again, we took a look at Vitor there in goals, not to shout home about the same with Kaza, this defensive fullback. Just not nothing to shout home about, lads. Like, he's not going to really change the dial for you if you do get him. I think, obviously, because this is a random spin as well, it's not a nominating contract. I think if you do get these players, you know, you can try them out yourselves and see. But I think looking at their base stats, it's, uh, it's very hard to recommend a lot of these players because they are just kind of that, you know, they're a stat or two away or a couple of tributes away in each tier um, that they're not going to be the top, top guys. So for me, I think that any of these guys that I'm going through very quickly, they're not really worth talking about. You can see here Rasmussen, he only has 80 defensive awareness, 79 aggression and 69 acceleration. He's not going to really be taking out any of your prime center backs that are there. Now, in terms of Dallo, right, Dallo is actually a very interesting player because Aggression seems to be more key than it was before, simply because I think with eFootball 23 at the moment, I mean, it's literally like auto defending for you a lot of the time, but he's got some nice dribbling stats, he's got nice passing, he's also got nice speed and acceleration and some lovely player skills, and he's on A rating as well, so I think if you do get Dallo, he is having a brilliant season for United so far, he's young, so he'll fit in with a young affinity manager, he's not a bad player, I mean, his defensive awareness could be a little bit better, but he's not a bad player at all, I think he's probably one of the picks of him. I think especially for his, his range of uh, dribbling and speed and his defensive prowess isn't too bad either. Now, we are going to leave Furuhashi for a second. We are going to take a look at Roberto Firmino because these are the guys that I don't really recommend you, you know, use. Obviously, if you're a Liverpool uh, player and you're looking for a deep line forward, which seems to be a bit of an OP uh, play style for, for strikers right now, um, he's not the worst. I mean, he's got nice speed and acceleration. His finishing is only 78, but look at that ball control. If you're looking for kind of like a Dennis Burkamp style player, You've, you've got him in Firmino if you do actually get him. He's got bags of player skills, first time shot through, passing, track back. Yeah, I mean, kind of like a, a Carlos Tevez type player he reminds me of. He's not the fastest, but he's excellent on the ball and he's an all round finisher when he gets the right opportunity. Next up, we've got Alberto, who plays for Lazio. A rating, again, he's got 90. All these players have 90 play style proficiency. He's got a bag of player skills as well. Double touch, one touch pass, long range shooting, weighted pass, excellent. And this guy is probably one of my favorite players when I'm looking at just pure baseline stats. Look at that, 93 ball control, low pass, dribbling and lofted pass all in the 90s, as well as balanced stamina and kicking power in the 80s. So very, very decent player. 75 acceleration is nothing to laugh about either. He is a classic number 10. I definitely think give him a go. Um, we've also got Furahashi, who I left for a second. We are going to take a quick look at him. And look at this guy's pace, lads, and stats. And obviously, if you're a Celtic fan, you're going to want to get him anyway because he's he's a beast. Um, but yeah, he's got 85 offensive awareness, 83 finishing, 82 aggression, 86 speed and 89 acceleration. His balance is exceptional. And he's got loads of player skills as well. Acrobatic finishing, first time shot, one time pass, true passing, track back, scissors faint, double touch, cut behind and turn, all of those. Um, he's a very good player, man. I think he's, you know, a lovely, lovely balance between his card. Frimpong is somebody that I, I'm not too sure who recommended to him in my YouTube uh, comments, but shout out to you, whoever it was, apologies. Um, I saw there was a couple of people that recommended him on Twitter as well, so I'm probably getting mixed up with who recommended who, but yeah, I'm nearly sure somebody in the YouTube comments said it, or maybe said it multiple times, that this guy as a right midfielder 
as kind of like a track back midfielder, like with man marking on the wingers is exceptional. His speed and acceleration are brilliant. His defensive awareness is fine for a right midfielder. Um, I would probably play him like I play Corona, like kind of as a track pack defensive minded uh, right midfielder rather than kind of like that winger that's going to be going forward the whole time. So on to the picks of the bunch, right? The actual best players of the week here. We've got Pedri. Now, unwavering form and A rating is going to result in him being up more often than not. And he's going to get like a plus three to all his stats when he is on top form. So you're talking about like 90 ball control, 90 dribbling, 93 tight possession, 90 low pass, 86, 87 acceleration, 93 balance. Like this guy is prime Iniesta um, at his at his finest. He's got so many player skills. And I think playing him as a, a ball carrying AMF is just going to, you know, he's he's a beast, lads. He is, as I said, and I keep saying it, he's probably top five in the game. He's super OP, super OP. Now, Odegaard is another player. Again, he's got a little bit better acceleration um, than Pedri in terms of just pure raw stats. But I think his passing and his low center of gravity and everything makes him a similar player to Pedri. He just has a little bit more about him with the defensive engagement and... Uh, the kick and power and stuff like that. But again, very similar players. I think if you are an Arsenal fan or just a fan of football in general, you will enjoy playing with Odegaard. He is an absolute monster. Stick him in. I do think somebody like, um, you know, Nakunku, who I've done a review on, will probably be better than Odegaard and Pedri will be better than Odegaard as well if you play a kind of a run and gun game style. But if you're looking for a slow, patient player that's able to kind of like get the ball up and down the pitch at ease, he is an absolute beast. And then the Terminator himself, the man of the moment, Erling Haaland. Yeah, I mean, apart from his balance, which is 55, which doesn't seem to be too uh, too dominating in uh, eFootball 2023, I think his balance is more reads like a 70 now. Uh, and he's got all the player skills you could possibly want. He still has super sub, as you see there with this card, which makes him the best super sub in the game by a mile. And he's got 91 finishing. 90 speed, 75 acceleration, 90 kick and power. I mean, literally just turn and shoot. You're not going to get a player as close to Adriano or Ibrahimovic in a Pez game than Haaland. So I definitely think he is worth it. But his standard card is probably just as good as well. So that is it for another review, lads. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you enjoy these videos. Peace.